Beyond pumping unwanted chemicals out of cells, your body has another system for detoxification, breaking down chemicals in the liver. This system is primarily managed by a family of enzymes known as cytochrome P450, abbreviated as CYP450. These enzymes are crucial for modifying chemicals that accumulate in fat and cell membranes, making them more water soluble so they can be easily removed from your body, primarily through urine. Many chemotherapy drugs rely on this system to be metabolized and eliminated from your body. So anything that interferes with the activity of the cytochrome P450 enzymes can alter the actual dose of chemotherapy that your body and your cancer have to deal with. If a vitamin or supplement blocks these enzymes, it leads to a buildup of drugs in your system, resulting in increased toxicity and more severe side effects. On the other hand, if a substance enhances the activity of these enzymes, it causes the drug to be broken down too quickly, and that reduces its effectiveness and potentially leads to poor treatment outcomes or cancer recurrence, which you do not want. While grapefruit is the most commonly discussed food that interferes with this pathway, certain vitamins also pose a risk. For instance, riboflavin, also known as vitamin B2, specifically interferes with that pathway, it leads to a buildup of excess chemotherapy. Similarly, vitamin D blocks the pathway. What's more, vitamin D can also interfere with another pathway required for the activation of certain chemotherapy drugs, such as cyclophosphamide. This means that if you're taking both vitamin D and cyclophosphamide, some of the drug you receive might not be activated, rendering your dose less effective in fighting cancer. These interactions underscore the complexity of drug metabolism and the critical need for careful consideration of all supplements during chemotherapy.